What's going on everybody? It's ETA Prime back here again. Today I'm going to show you how to easily install and run Android apps and games on your Windows 11 PC. Now in the past we needed an emulator to do this like BlueStacks. There are a few others out there like Knox. But with all of the recent updates to Windows 11, they've actually added something called the Windows Subsystem for Android, and it's super simple to use. We can install third-party APKs, and we can even get an app store up and running. It's not Google Play, but it will allow us to download apps and games directly from that application and install them on our Windows 11 PC. And obviously what I have now is a touchscreen laptop, but this works with a mouse and keyboard or a trackpad. So you can install this on your laptop or your desktop PC. And in this video, I'm going to walk you through the whole process, even installing that third party app store. But before we get started, I do want to mention that this video is brought to you by URCD keys. I've actually been using this site for a couple years now. They do offer Steam keys, Origin, Uplay. They even offer Microsoft applications like Office. But the main reason that I use URCD keys is for their Windows keys. And another great thing about buying from here is they do accept PayPal. I just did this build here. I need to activate Windows. I'm going to head over to my updates and security. We're going to go to activation. As you can see, I've got Windows 10 Pro, but it's not activated. So I'm going to change product key. I'm going to paste it in here, choose next, choose activate, and Windows is now activated. We're ready to go. My warning is totally gone, and basically that's it. They'll email your code once your payment is processed, and that's basically it. If you're interested in picking up cheap Windows 10 keys for your new PC builds, I'll leave a link in the description. Okay, so first things first, you need to make sure that you're updated to the latest version of Windows 11. Now, I'm actually on the Insider program, so I will get a few extra features with Android, like better controller support and the ability to map your WASD keys. But as long as you're on the latest version of Windows 11 as making this video, you'll still be able to get this all up and running pretty easily. But if you're not familiar with updating Windows 11, basically what we're going to do here is head over to our settings. And as you can see, I've got a lot of updates that need to be installed here, but most of this is just driver stuff. There's no major Windows 11 updates that I need to do right now. But it is good practice to go ahead and install all from the Windows Update Center. Once you're fully up to date, we need to install the Windows Subsystem for Android. And right now, the way to do this is head over to the Microsoft Store, and we're going to search for Amazon App Store. And don't worry, because as soon as we get everything set up properly, we'll be able to install any Android app on our PC. Now, if you just want to use the Amazon App Store, it's very limited. There are a few applications we can download and install. There's some games here also, but we do need to get this set up. So we have the Windows subsystem for Android installed on our Windows 11 PC. We'll download. Give it a second to finish up. And there you have it. So from here, we can actually open the Amazon App Store. And we can sign in and download applications from the App Store here, but we're going to kind of leave this out because there's really not that much to download. So now that we've got the subsystem set up on Windows, there are a few steps we need to take here. We're going to open up our search menu and find Windows Subsystem for Android. From here, we're going to go ahead and open this up. We're going to choose Developer. We're going to turn this on. Manage Developer Settings. And from here, you just need to make sure that USB debugging is enabled right here. We're going to choose OK. And that's it. And this might look familiar. I mean, this is basically the Android settings here. We're going to back up. We'll close this down. And now it's time to head over to GitHub and download the WSA Pac-Man app. What this is going to allow us to do is easily sideload APKs onto our Windows 11 device. And I'll leave a link for this in the description. We're going to go over here to releases. We're going to download the installer. You can use the portable one if you want to, but I'm just going to go with the installer. That way it's system wide and I can access it from my app menu in Windows 11. It's finished downloading. We'll go ahead and install it. And once we're finished installing WSA Pac-Man, we can actually start installing applications from Android on our device. And there's a bunch of websites online where you can download APKs. One that I personally like to use is APK Mirror and APK Pure. We're going to find games and I'm just going to install something simple. But I'm also going to show you how to set up an app store. Pretty simple to do that, but let's find something. We'll just go with Hill Climb Racer. Simple APK. We'll download it. And once it's finished downloading, these are going to be located in my downloads folder. 
Hill Climb Racer. We'll just double click on it. WSA Pac-Man is going to come up. We'll choose Always Allow. This is going to be our USB debugging. We'll choose Allow and you'll get a little prompt like this. We can cancel or install. We'll go ahead and install it. We can open the app. And now we're running Android apps on our Windows 11 PC. I mean, it's actually pretty simple to do. And you can install individual APKs like we just did with Hill Climber. Or we can actually head over and download a third-party market like Aptoid. So with this, if I was to use this on my everyday Android phone, I would never sign into it. But using it on my Windows 11 PC to download other applications without creating an account is perfectly fine in my opinion. I just personally wouldn't want to give any third-party app market any of my real information. But we're going to download the APK. Again, this is going to be in my Downloads folder. We'll install Aptoid. Same thing. We're using WSA Pac-Man to install this. It's ready to go. We'll choose Open App. And from Aptoid, we can start downloading applications and games directly from this app and install them using that WSA Pac-Man installer that we used. So let's go with something simple here. I'll just go with Gun and Dungeons. We'll install. It's going to download it for us. Yes, we'd like to install. And we can open it directly from Aptoid or all of the applications that we installed are going to be listed here. You can also search from your search bar. So we've got Aptoid installed. It's going to show right up. And the last one we just installed was Gun and Dungeons right here. So we'll start it up. And there you have it. So you've got Android apps up and running in Windows 11. And you've also got an app store to download apps from. Really easy to use. Super convenient, and if there are mobile games that you want to play on your Windows machine, you can now do it easier than ever. You don't have to install a third-party emulator like BlueStacks, even though those applications will offer more features, at least at the time of making this video, like superior controller support, and in some cases, they may even perform better. But if you just want to keep it all in Windows 11, that's exactly how you do it. But that's going to wrap it up for this one. Really appreciate you watching, and hope you get this set up on your Windows 11 PC. Like I mentioned, this does work with a keyboard. If you've got a touch screen on your laptop, it's also going to work that way. And there is controller support built into this, so as long as the game does natively support a controller, you could use a controller with these Android games on your Windows 11 PC. And another thing to keep in mind is it's still a bit early for Android on Windows 11. It's only getting better. I mean, just a few months ago, I had a bunch of apps that were crashing, but everything that I've tested so far has worked out. So it will get better down the road. But if you have the time, this is pretty awesome to mess around with right now. If you have any questions, let me know in the comments below. And like always, thanks for watching.